friends, welcome back. With only one more week left before school starts, I want to share how I've been preparing for my first online semester of nursing school. So even though I plan on being almost completely digital for this coming term, I still have a few items that aren't digital that'll supplement my current setup for term one. My main focus for this term is to just keep things very simple. So I do have my iPad as my main focal point, but I'll also have my non-digital tools as well, but very, very minimal. So let's get started. If you remember from my previous iPad video, I had this blue case. I didn't love the case because the charging part was covered and it was difficult for my Apple Pencil to charge. I got a new case recently and the side isn't covered at all so that I can easily charge my Apple Pencil. It also stands up. I also love that it matches my Apple Pencil sleeve and so far the case has been pretty good. So that's a new addition to the iPad. Next thing that I want to add was a keyboard for my iPad. And I do have this keyboard that I use for my MacBook Pro as well as my iPad when I'm at home. And I do love this keyboard because it's really easy to alternate from device to device quickly but I didn't want to keep carrying this keyboard around even though it is quite small. I also did not want to spend $200 or more on a folio case that had a keyboard attached to the case. So I went ahead and did a ton of research before finding this portable mini keyboard. I'm obsessed with this keyboard mainly because when I got it, I was so shocked at how light and functional it is. And it's so cute, it's tiny. As you see this keyboard here compared to the pink keyboard, it's fairly smaller and really thin compared to the pink keyboard. I'll also show you a comparison to the Magic Keyboard from Apple. Since it's a very small keyboard, the keys are obviously quite small, but I actually haven't had any real issues with typing on this and it easily fits into my iPad case. This Logitech portable keyboard was $60 Canadian, highly recommend it. I'll link everything in the description box if you wanna go and check it out. The next item is a physical planner and some essential stationery. So I won't go into too much detail about this because there will be another video about how I set up my digital and physical planner. I also have my basic stationery for my planner and quickly jotting down notes. I do carry this clear bag for my mild liner highlighters and then I also have my tri-colored pen and then my tri I also like having clear bags like this because sometimes it's easy for me to forget my charger so when I see that I have it packed then I don't have to worry about it and panic. <laughs> I hope you got some ideas from this video to help you get started on preparing for a new semester. I will be showing how I set up my Google Calendar and digital folders so don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss that one coming up. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!